What's going on, guys? And we'll go back to some more Pokemon Red in the last part. Uh, we basically did we basically uh, did the mute glitch and uh, got out of uh, Cerulean. We did the Cerulean Gym. And this time we're gonna leave Cerulean City because we have to tackle this thing right here. This thing right here. Uh, you see this Team Rocket? Actually, which Pokemon am I gonna use against this? Um, I'm gonna use a. I'm gonna try something to get a up a couple of levels because uh, Bowser is by far my highest level, but uh. Hey, Steel, it's not your yard, huh? Me? I'm an innocent bison. I don't believe me. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, another Team Rocket, but, uh... This is before, our, like, Rocket Grunts and all that, but, uh... Uh, yeah, so unfortunately we're fighting, we're fighting another Machop, but, uh... We should be able to do this, but, uh... It's no Karate Chop, but, uh... Yeah, it wasn't a crit, thankfully, so, yeah, we're getting very lucky this part. We didn't crit, unfortunately, but, uh, come on, no crit. Okay, no crit, actually. I actually feel really well, because I've already gone over that Karate Chop to normal type move in Gen 1, but, uh, all right, Drowsy, um, Drowsy the new one, it's gonna have a, it's gonna be a Psychic type, so, uh, unfortunately in Gen 1, Psychic has very little weaknesses, and I'll go over this more later, but, uh, yeah, in Generation 1, Psychic's, Psychic's only weakness is uh, Bug-type. Because in Generation 1, Psychic was immune to ghosts. I'm not kidding. I'll go over this more later. Okay, the TM I still is a TM Tornado, which actually can make Dig. I don't really have- we don't really have any Pokemon that can learn Dig. I don't think War Troll learn Dig. I don't really think it's really useful because we're gonna get a Pokemon eventually that will- will have Dig to our advantage. Anyway, so I decided to cut out that, uh, Pokemon, uh, I decided to cut out that, uh, that, uh, Pokemon Center visit, because, uh, like, because it's mandatory to do so, but, uh, and, uh, anyway, this right here is, um, actually, let's go on the route itself. Anyway, this right here is, um, look at the town map. This is Route 5, so, uh, the new Pokemon you're gonna find this route in red in the red version you're gonna find Mankey, a really good fighting type. However, I already ruled we can't use version exclusives, and uh, so I'm unfortunately gonna have to pass on a Mankey. But uh, in the blue version you're gonna find a Meowth, which is a uh, one of the candidates, one of the great candidates, one of the best Pokemon in Gen One when it's evolved into a Persian. But uh, I want to I want to tackle this area right here. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is this area right here is a. Uh, I want a daycare. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? Which one wants to raise? So, uh, yeah, let's get Peach up a couple levels. But, um, now, the way the daycare works is that every step you take, every gets one XP. So, um, unfortunately, though, you can't breed in Gen 1. So, uh, yeah. So, what we're going to do is, uh, let's, uh, try to see if we can, uh, try to see if we can montage our way up a level. So, uh, I'll probably run around this thing for like 10, 20 minutes and let's see how many levels we can get Peach up. So, uh, cue the montage. Alrighty, so it's been about uh, 10 minutes, and uh, your peach has grown a lot. My level has grown by one. So yeah, you, you basically, it's a very cheap way to level up your Pokemon. Just run around the deck out. Now, be very careful also, because say we get this Abra up to level 15. If you get it up to level 16, it won't evolve and it won't learn confusion. Also, be very careful with these other Pokemon, because uh, if uh, I think it learns a new move at, like, say, uh, level 30. So if it learns a new move, it'll replace the move at the top. So Sing will go out. So uh, just be very careful with that. Be very careful with the daycare in general. If a very effective way to raise your Pokemon, however, if you know what you're doing. Now, um, how low is she level 26? All right, 516. So let's let's get her out. Now, um, it's going to be a... This is going to be a tunnel. Now, if you go over here, there's a hidden full restore. I also plays the uh, Route 2 music, which is interesting, but uh, for the last time we actually hear it in the game, but uh, 
Now, uh, if we go over here, um, we have to go to the town map. This is Route 6. Now, um, there isn't really anything different about this route in terms of new Pokemon. However, there are trainers. There aren't many bugs out here. And, uh, Bugcatcher wants to fight, and Bugcatcher sent out Weedle, so, uh, yeah, level 16 Weedle. So let's just pound this thing. I am a little concerned that our speed's gonna go down, but, uh, we have 101 HP. So, uh, yeah. This is, this is around the point where we're about a few levels away from when Jigglypuff starts getting particularly good. But, uh... Yeah, level 16 Caterpie, what gives at least at least he's a level 16 Metaplod. This thing would be a butterfree by now. There's a bug. Send a Weedle, another level 16 Weedle. I guess the I mean like we 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 we'd fare fine. I think one of the bug catchers has that fully evolved Pokemon, but uh level four Peach level 26. I mean, if you have Bug Catcher. No, you're kidding. Anyway, so, um. Who's there? Quit listening on us. Now, um, yeah, another battle. Anyway, so Junior Trainer wants to fight, and Junior Trainer sent out Squirtle. It's actually a level 20 Squirtle, which this should be a War Turtle, so, uh. Maybe it'd be better to use a war turtle against this thing. I don't know. It knows bite, but uh, we're gonna start learning better moves in the next few levels with, with uh, Jigglypuff. One of the reasons I didn't give it double slap. Anyway, so we defeated Junior Trainer Male. So uh, we listen to this girl. Excuse me. This is a private conversation. I think this one's gonna have a Pikachu. Um, it's gonna have a rat. I, I was thinking of a completely different trainer then. This thing is at the level where we'll know Hyper Fang, but we're also 10 levels ahead of this thing, so, uh. Oh, sweet, we get to one shot this. But yeah, this does have a Pikachu, so, uh. This was before Pikachu became a mascot of the Pokemon series, like, um. So yeah, Gen 1 Pikachu decide. Oh, we're paralyzed. Nice. So yeah, paralysis, we have not experienced it yet, but it cuts your speed in half. And uh, every, every every now and then, it can, you can be fully paralyzed, meaning you can't move. So uh, I think I have some paralysis heals. I don't. So we have to say goodbye to our full restore. Because that heals status conditions. Now, um... If we talk to this guy, this trainer, I think, has the fully ball hold on. I've never seen you around, are you good? And I think it's actually a bug catcher, but I think this one actually is a butterfree, I think. Yeah, bug catcher wants to fight, bug catcher sent out butterfree. Yeah, first time our first time facing a butterfree. So uh yeah, butterfree is out butterfree also knows confusion. Despite knowing confusion though, it's not really a fantastic Pokemon. Like it has some very bad stats. And thank god it didn't affect us. So uh Yes, Confusion also has a 10% chance of uh, confusing us, which Confusion is not something we've seen yet. Now, uh, how close is Peach to a level up? Oh, 225 XP, so we'll just uh, do that, do it right that. So, um, there's only two more trainers on this uh, route, so, uh, me, well, okay, I'll play. Anyway, so Junior Trainer wants to fight, and Junior Trainer Fiona sent out Pidgey, and this thing's gonna know Quick Attack and Sand Attack. So, uh, let's hope this... Is the Quick Attack gonna matter, though? Because Quick Attack defaults to going first, but, uh, yeah, this thing is faster than that shit. So, as long as we beat this Pidgey, and we stop missing... Yeah, Sand Attack is one of the most annoying moves in Gen 1, but, uh... We don't have enough, uh... I'll switch up because we're gonna get the level up anyway. 
How's we gonna show up Bubble Beam if this thing can actually hit? But uh, Bubble Beam, Bubble Beam is essentially a more powerful move uh, a version of Bubbles. So uh, yeah, we get the same type of dive bombs. We're able to one shot this Pidgey. And Peach Beard level 27. And uh, it's, this thing is gonna have three Pidgeys. So uh, not at the level where it'd be a Pidgeotto though. Pidgey doesn't have all the level 18. So um. See if we can get uh, Bowser up level. I don't, I'm not 100 certain we can, but this it did get 900 XP from fighting Misty. So uh, yeah, 1521 XP. Uh, you want to talk to me? I think this trainer has Eradicate, so just be a little cautious. We are very over leveled for this part of the game, only having two team members, but um. Yeah, we're not gonna. It's gonna have eradicate, but uh. And eradicate speed. Level. Bubble Beam actually has a ten. Like Bubble has a ten percent chance of uh lowering speed, so uh, we are faster in this thing. We would have been faster in this thing anyway, but uh. Maybe we have Junior Train Mail. So uh, now we are in none of them. Um, now we've made it to. If we check the town map. We made to Vermilion City, so um, I think now is an appropriate time to cut it off this part of Pokemon Red. So next time Pokemon Red, we're gonna tackle, we're gonna see what we can do around Vermilion City. See you guys then.